Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Clark and I am the health and phys ed teacher at Coburn Elementary School. Years ago, when I became a health and PE teacher, I was approached by the American Heart Association to begin doing, at the time it was called Jump Rope for Heart. I was with another phys ed teacher and we, we took this on as something we wanted to do for the district. We believed in it. Obviously, all the funds go to the American Heart Association. And basically what they do is they provide operations for children that need them smoking cessation programs for adults, CPR classes, and we just felt like in our own career in Pendelco that this would be such a worthwhile thing. Not only could we help others, but we could teach our own children um, that philanthropy and that this kind of a, a project is worthwhile. And I got to tell you, it just caught on. I, I can't believe how generous the Pendelco community has been. Um, you can see in the calendar right now that we've raised over $236,000 over the last 12 years, you know, doing the Jump Rope for Heart and now Kids Heart Challenge. So it's just been such a great thing to be involved in. And I think I speak for everybody when I say that at the end of our careers, if we could say that we raised over a million dollars for the American Heart Association, that would be so fulfilling, you know, to, to say that we were part of that. So. That, that's definitely a goal. One of the reasons that the kids get behind it and the families get behind it is because I think that all four schools are very passionate about promoting it. Our administrators just do such a great job getting behind us, opening their, our, you know, their doors to listen to our ideas. And I think that with that kind of support, we definitely feel like we can create incentives. I know some of the schools are doing raffles. I know that the PTLs have been behind this and parents love in Pendelco to come into our schools to help, to see what's going on. So I think when we have that strong PTL connection at all four schools, I think that that's a huge part of this. The other thing that, that I know that we do at Coburn is we invite retired teachers back that have served in Pendelco their entire career to help with accounting, to help with various aspects of this. I don't know what the communication is like in terms of what the kids say in, you know, in their own homes to their parents, I'm not there for that, but it must be robust because every single year, the kids just turn out for this and really wanna participate. So it's a huge source of pride for our health and PE department at the elementary level and for all of our schools. So we're, we're so thankful. You know, we, we have, certain restrictions in terms of how many people we can have in our gym. Um, we don't want to cross classes and so forth. So one of the things that I think all four principals have agreed upon and have met with the PE staff um, to discuss is that we would do it over two weeks to allow all the children to have access to a fun event. And all of the different PE teachers are tackling it in their own way. I'm going to do a synchronous thing with our cyber kids over at Coburn, relies a lot on dancing, and I know Parkside has their own take on it. They've done some synchronous things with um, their kickoff assemblies. Aston has their own room dedicated to Kids Heart Challenge this year. The kennel is, is uh, on board with the dancing. And basically what we've done is in troubleshooting, well, how can we continue this? And how can we make it effective? We thought we're gonna elongate it over two weeks so that all the kids have an opportunity to come in and have something fun. Why are we doing it? Obviously for the charity behind it, but also to create some level of joy, some level of normalcy, and just plain old fun for the kids to come in and have something that's not, you know, run of the mill. So we're really, really excited to share this with, you know, the kids in Pendelco and the community at large. I, I just would like to end today with a huge thank you to our upper administration for always getting behind this. I wanna say thank you to all the building principals who've gotten behind this. We started the year and there was a huge message from Dr. Steinhoff and the, uh, the message was, how can we help? And I can tell you whether I'm talking to Mr. Gorniak about technology or I'm talking to Mrs. Ford about our cyber population or I have to you know, call Mrs. Young to talk to her, or Mrs. Phillips, or Mr. Light. Everybody has been so embracing of that spirit. How can we help? We're just thankful. And, and we're four guys that had an idea and it was like, we're planning an event and to have everybody get behind it is so touching. So we're doing great things, you know, for kids that have a degree of need for these charitable contributions, but it's also great for our own family here in Pendelco.